What's up, Prepsers? Callion coming at you with Christmas cheer. When I got word we were doing a full video on Santa Claus, I nearly lost my ornament. No, because I already found infinity mouse. No, but you said that. No, no, no. no. Between the clauses. Infinity mouse closet. Oh. Yeah, we're good to go. Wait a second. I know how I can make this work. Run with me. What is Santa Claus's oldest daughter's name? Independent Claus. She has what it takes to go out into the world on her own. An independent Claus can stand on her own. Anyone have a guess of Santa's youngest kid's name? Dependent Claus. Dependent Claus cannot stand on his own. He has to rely on his big sister, Independent Claus. And what's Santa's middle child's name? Frank. Yeah, we don't talk about him much. To be as independent as she is, independent clause needs a subject and a verb. What can we say independent clause does? She raps. Yo, this is me. I know the North Pole. I rap presents. Team Elf Patrol. Uh, not that kind of rap. What's the subject? It's she. And what's the verb? It's raps. So again, an independent clause needs a subject and a verb. Let's see some other examples of full sentences. She works on literally the best present ever. What's the subject here? She. And what's the object? The present. Do we need the object in order for the sentence to be an independent clause? Right, we don't need the object because all we need to create an independent clause is a subject and a verb. The subject is she, and the verb is works. So she works is a full sentence. What about this younger sibling though, dependent clause? Well, if we're missing the subject or the verb, then we don't have an independent clause. We could have a fragment, a phrase, or just nonsense. But what if we have a subject and a verb and it still doesn't feel so complete? Like when dependent clause is making a mess, what is our subject and what's our verb here? Well, our verb is a state of being verb, is. What's our subject? It's dependent clause. So why isn't this a full sentence? It has a subject and a verb. Well, something about this when word is making me feel a little weird. What happens if we take it away? Dependent clause is making a mess. Hey, that's a full sentence. We have a subject and a verb. So our troublemaker is that word when. When is what we call a subordinating conjunction. Can you guess what makes the dependent clause Dependent? A dependent clause has a subject, verb, and a subordinating conjunction. Here's a sample list of subordinating conjunctions that I want you to know. After, although, as, because, before, if, once, since, that, though, unless, until, when, where, whereas, whether, which, while. Don't worry about writing these down right now. I'm providing them in your full grammar rules packet to study from later. Let's see a few in action, and then we'll call this video a day. While Frank was reading a self-help book, while, while is the subordinating conjunction here, which independent clause knew couldn't help Frank, which, which is a subordinating conjunction here. <coughs> dependent clause remain clueless. <laughs> Two dependent clauses tied to an independent clause. Another example. No, no. Come on, no. The family is in chaos because the parents are away. Because is a subordinating conjunction. Notice that an independent clause is tied to a dependent clause here. One more. Grandpa Claus knows that Santa and Mrs. Claus are coming home from dinner soon. The independent clause here is simply Grandpa Claus knows. The subordinating conjunction is that, which begins the dependent clause. Oh, fire fact. What is the smallest sentence in the English language? Take a second to think about it. Go. Huh? 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 I know, I know. Where's the subject, right? Who are we telling to go? Go. You! That's right, you. Yes, you right there are the implied subject, so it counts. Go. You! That's all for today. Thanks for hanging in the North Pole. And remember, believe in yourself, because I certainly do.
Prep medians up in that test. Watch me crank it, watch me prep. Watch me crank prep medians and subordinate that test. Watch me, you prep medians. You prep medians. You prep medians. Go you. An independent clause is a full sentence that has a subject and a verb. A dependent clause has a subject, a verb, and a subordinating conjunction. We, as a society, need to come up with a first name for Mrs. Claus. She shouldn't just be Mrs. Santa Claus.